Well, we have another Fox 2 exclusive for you tonight. Only our cameras are there as convicted child killer Paula Sims is released from an Illinois prison. After three decades, a parole board has agreed that Sims was mentally ill with postpartum psychosis when she killed her infant daughters. Fox 2's Mandy Murphy shows us the moment that Sims walks free. Paula Sims walked out of this prison here at the Logan Correctional Center, about 40 miles north of Springfield, Illinois. The 62-year-old woman is getting her first taste of freedom in more than 32 years. I was here as she left the institution just a day after the Illinois Parole Board granted her release. She didn't want to talk to anyone, as her attorney told me, it would be an enormous emotional adjustment for her just to breathe air as a free woman for the first time. Paula spent more than three decades behind bars here for the deaths of her two infant daughters back in the 80s. I talked to her friends as they waited all day for Paula to be released and welcome her back into the world. I want to um, just watch her walk out, watch her expressions, because it is just going to be She's going to have a roller coaster right here for a little bit. Deb Hellriegel was the first person to hug her. Adjusting um, to accepting the fact that, you know, after 32 years, she's, she's on the other side. I mean, it doesn't look like it's that big a deal because, you know, when you're on the units, I mean, you can, you can look out here, you can see it all, but it's just not the same as walking out those doors. Paula received life without parole for the murder of her daughters, but the governor commuted her sentence and allowed for possible parole. We showed you exclusive video inside that hearing where doctors testified Paula killed her children because she suffered from postpartum psychosis, a rare extreme form of maternal mental illness. The board agreed this condition was unknown 30 years ago and is now recognized by law in Illinois as a defense for infanticide. Deb was there when Paula Paula got the call she would be released. She was very grateful and she said that several times. She is just so grateful um, and God is good. Paula plans to live with friends in Decatur, Illinois, where she has a job. She eventually hopes to move to Alabama and open a dog grooming business. At Logan Correctional Center, just north of Springfield, Illinois, I'm Mandy Murphy, Fox 2 News.